Well, why is it doing this? Hey, everyone ask me some questions on the Snapchat Q&A on YouTube. Ask me your questions right now. Everyone ask me some questions on my Snapchat. On my Snapchat, send me your questions in right now. I'm doing a live Q&A. So if you get my Snapchat, go watch it. Send me your question, I'm gonna answer you right now. I'm starting now. Hold on, hold on. Leave a, leave a comment, I'll get in the video. I just didn't catch the name. Yo, leave your comments. Look, leave a comment. Hey, leave a comment. Don't move it, I can't fucking focus. Your signal sucks. Go to Snapchat, go to Snapchat now. <laughs> I'm like, hey. It's the first one. I just want to just that. Do you even chicken? Okay, bro? Not the same time. <laughs> I asked you about, oh, you asked me about chickens, bro. Obviously, bro. Come on. Obviously, a chicken. Okay. How many grams of protein do I eat a day? We just told you I chicken, bro. Chicken. Chicken. Chicken's protein, right? Just kidding. Um, it depends, honestly. For me, it's not always the same. Uh, it depends how I feel. It depends how, I, how hard I work out in the gym. So I do like more of like, I don't want to say, it's not carb cycling, but I do like a variation in my eating habits. So I don't eat the same thing every day. But to give you the general idea, it's probably like 200 to like 230 grams. I don't eat two times my my uh my body weight I, I feel like that's too much protein we're gonna time now man can't even okay yo bradley so shoulders are my weakness what do you think i should do to build them up yo shoulders is your weakness bro check out the video i just posted and you know what guys you guys all all know that all i post is like chest, shoulders, and arm routine, so just go watch the videos. But honestly, if shoulders are your weakness, give them more love. So by that I mean hit them more often throughout the week, add different intensity, different different loading types of things. Just don't do what you've normally been doing for them. Get out of the norm, change it up, but stay consistent with whatever you decide to go towards. My name's Dominic. I was wondering what's better, aesthetic stance or athletic stance? I'm not sure the question, the athletic stance or aesthetic stance? Say maybe for like a squat? For like a squat. Okay, so honestly it depends on what your goal is. Um, this last actually a video that I'm posting, I don't know when it's going to be up in relation to this video, but it's about actually different stances and what the usefulness of the stance is like. For me, I notice when I bring my legs in closer, it's less of an athletic stance, but it's more of like, for me, aesthetic for my quads because I want to build my quads a certain way. Whereas like a more athletic stance would be like a jumping stance, like where you would jump from to build the strength in that kind of like pathway, that movement way. So, it depends what your goal is. Yo, Brad, what's the best way to increase your vertical leap? Like, what are the best exercises or workouts to maximize your vertical leap? Okay, so the best exercise to maximize your vertical leap, I've talked about this in the past, but since I've heard it so many more times, I'm gonna go ahead and do like a video series about increasing your vertical leap. I was thinking about it earlier today, and was like, nah, I don't wanna do it, but now, since I've seen this, for like the fifth, the sixth, the seventh time. I'm gonna go ahead and do a series, but to give you like a quick idea, um, and this will be in the series, squatting with bands. Like, so kind of like be more explosive throughout the range of motion of the squat will help you increase your vertical leap. Just that, that one thing alone. So using bands to hold you down, you have to drive through them to get to the top, right? Just to give you a quick <laughs> idea so we can keep going on these questions. Any advice on how to improve my grip strength? Uh, grip strength, that's easy. Honestly, the, the best way to do it, in my opinion, deadlift without straps. Um, start using overhand grip more often than mixed grip. So if you deadlift, stop using mixed grip. And I'm not saying don't use it indefinitely, but when you train, train until you can't use overhand grip anymore. So train until like you need to switch, but do as much as you can before going over under, stay double overhand. That'll help you increase your grip strength tremendously. Hey, Ben, it's Isaac. 
I wanted to know if you keep track of your macros and how do you do it if you do? And or what what food do you eat throughout throughout the day? Okay, so that's a two part question. I'll answer the first part. Do I track my macros? Not anymore. In my opinion, it, it, it can, can be too time consuming. I've been doing this for so long that I have like a general idea of how much food I'm eating when I go ahead and eat it, just because I've been eating it for so long. So, no, I don't write it down, I don't track it, unless I was like, okay, I wanna get ready for a show, or get ready for a photo shoot, or get ready for something, or get ready for like a special day, like, you know, like a bar mitzvah, or like when I get married, or like, <laughs> so just kidding, but I'm not Jewish. Anyways, don't, I don't consume my mind with it, because there's other things I wanna focus on, but if you really wanna make a, like a physique change, tracking those things will really benefit you. It'll just be more time consuming, so, depends where you're at in your life. I don't personally anymore. Not a video. What your bench and squat max? What did he say? So what's your squat max? Squat max. Uh, like 200. It's like about 200 pounds right now. What is it like? Hey, bro. 600. Six, probably 650. I, I want back muscle too. Thank you. Hey, bro. I ain't gonna go there. Skip. Dang it. Bradley, have you ever had to deal with any major injuries that came from lifting? Have I ever had to, have I ever had to deal with any injuries that came from lifting? Yes. This was a this was about it's actually six years ago now. I had a really bad sciatic nerve injury where I did a good morning. This is before I was like stronger. I did a good morning with 315 and I did this wider stance. Normally I do a lower stance. I did a wider stance. I came down with the 315 good morning. And when I came up, my knee shot in because I wasn't strong enough, I wasn't as balanced. So what that did, created scar tissue, ruined me for like six months. I, it got to the point where I couldn't extend my hip. But what I did was I learned some stretches that really benefited me. Um, and I don't, you probably guys don't really have a lot of sciatic injuries or anything like that, so it wouldn't make sense for me to put that out there, but I'm gonna do like a, still like a stretching series, like a mobility series. I've done one in the past, I'll do a little bit of, of a better one, but I'll include stretches like that that have helped me get through that pain. And a lot of times that's what it is. When you have an injury, whether it be like from weightlifting or anything, a lot of times it's, it's, it's mobility work that you need to practice or keep in your routine um, as you train further. So it's like you have to, you can't get lost in, man, can they even hear me right now? <laughs> okay. Can you hear me? You, you can't like, if you injure yourself, don't get lost in trying to keep hammering the same thing and you have to change something. You have to like tweak your routine as far as like warming up goes or your mobility work. So this, like, don't skip out on that. And I'll, I'll add more routines like that. Let's see if I can do that. Bradley, back of my head hurts when I work out. It feels like someone bashed me in the head. And it feels like it's about to explode. It's not my neck, though. Go to the doctor. Yeah, I'll definitely uh, definitely go to the doctor on that one. It sounds like a, almost like a blood pressure thing or something like that. If it's like in your head, uh, I would definitely go to the doctor. So I'm not a doctor. I can't tell you like, hey, this is what's going on and I, I can't even treat you. I can't see you. So go to a doctor. That actually sounds pretty serious. So. That's not something to be like, don't play around with you get a pain in your head. Yo, what's up, Bradley? Yo, I was wondering if uh, a weightlifting belt is necessary like squatting or something like that to protect your lower back. Okay, so a weightlifting belt is not always 100% necessary. It depends on your strengths or your weaknesses. So a lot of times, like powerlifters will use belts, but they'll use them most of the time towards a heavier weight. So it depends what kind of weight you're moving in relationship to your strength. Um, do you need one? No. Can they benefit you? Can they protect you? Yes. A lot of the times, if you have a strong enough core, and you're, you're not overdoing things, you'll be fine most of the time. I've trained always without a belt because that's how I always used to train, so I just, I've gradually gotten stronger over time. I never made really like big gigantic leaps in strength, so I never really needed to use a belt. So, no, you don't need to use a belt. Uh, they can benefit you um, if you absolutely need them, so. All right, two more. Hey, Bradley, how do you develop a proper mind muscle connection post injury when you're working out to make sure the muscles are contracting and flexing properly? Yo, he had the shirt on. I saw the raw shirt. I appreciate your support, man. Shaq Shaq is his name on uh, Snapchat. How do I develop, I guess, in a sense, you're talking about after an injury. How do you get that mind muscle connection back? It's the same way you develop in the first place. Honestly, the best way to do this, depending on whatever muscle group it is, 
Find a range of motion that can you can keep the muscle engaged and go through it slow. And just don't worry about weight, just focus on contracting. Like even if you were to do the movement, like for example, say your bicep, without any weight. Focus on using the bicep instead of just moving the weight. Right? Focus on using the bicep to contract instead of just like going up and down. So that's a, that's a small example, but use the muscle to move the weight, drop the weight, drop the ego, and focus on the contraction rather than just moving the weight up and down or side to side, whatever it is. So, okay, so Bradley, I just want to know what supplements are you taking? Thank you. Oh, supplements. What supplements are I taking? So, I got a surprise for you guys coming soon. You're going to know what supplements I'm taking, what supplements I've been taking, but we can't talk about that just yet. But yeah, you know, I'm going to do another Snapchat q and I'm going to try and do it weekly. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. More coming soon. Make sure you follow my Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, YouTube. You're already here. Let's get better together. See you guys soon. Ah.